afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, before we get into our teaching over here on First Peter, uh, something that a good friend of mine asked me a question about just recently on this particular chapter. And so I figured I would share with you uh, that that particular the passage was actually we, we were asking about talking about uh, First Peter chapter one verse 12 unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that ever preached the gospel unto you with the holy ghost sent down from heaven which things the angels desired to look into hmm i guarantee you they did desire to look into it all right but anyway before i get into that i want to talk to you a little bit about uh, my wife's channel here over on odyssey it's odyssey.com forward slash Israeli News Live. It's the easiest way to find it. Um, and of course, right here, her latest video, the single most dangerous thing to all humanity, in a hyphen. And of course, as you can see here, the men in black kingdom. Hmm. It's not actually the way it's titled, but uh, I think I have to be a little bit careful here on YouTube on some of the titles that we read here. Uh, but anyway, it is a very powerful message that she give here. It is uh, it is a an exclusive video here. And one thing you want to do when you come on to the channel here, uh, I'll give you an example here with this one here, uh, and that is take the time to subscribe. A lot of people watch without subscribing, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but if you subscribe, then you can hit the notification bell. Uh, and I am looking for that, but I'm not, I'm not, let's see. Let me just look here, gosh. I guess because it is our channel, I'm not seeing it as easily. But there is a notification bell you can hit once you, there it is right there, I'm sorry, right there. Uh, so once you click on that notification bell there up in the upper right hand corner near where you can see Yana's picture right there, a very small picture there of her, uh, you can click on that notification bell and then you will know automatically she is uploading videos uh, because this is part of what she's doing already. This is the actual channel itself. Of course, you got right there the men in black. That's what I like to so passionately call them. And, uh, and again, you can see at odyssey.com forward slash the at sign, like if you're doing mail, Israeli News Live colon and then the letter A. That actually takes you directly to her channel. And uh, I think if you just did Israeli News Live, it would also do the same thing. But let's don't take the chance, right? Anyway, don't forget. And of course, you can also support the work that, uh, that she does. Uh, and by the way, I, I will tell you, it, it's been a very, very difficult nearly two years right now, and uh, and she is undergoing some very, uh, very, very extensive treatment right now uh, in order to try to help uh, with all the tragedy that our family has suffered. And so, if you would like to help support uh, the work that she does, as well as the um, what what she's going through, uh, if God lays that upon your heart please consider that. You could do that right there on her channel if you want, uh, or if you prefer, if you're used to going to IsraeliNewsLive.org, you can just type in our website, which appears above my head anyway, and, uh, and you could just uh, donate either by clicking there online uh, or by mail. And, uh, and if you're doing that by mail and you want it specifically for that purpose, just say, hey, this is for Yana. And, uh, but otherwise, actually the easiest way would be right there on her channel. I think that's kind of cool. I haven't even tried it yet. Uh, maybe I should do that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's get right into this message tonight. Uh, and I think you're going to find this interesting because I remember uh, when the sister that asked me about this, her, her name is Sister Marsha, uh, it really got my attention because I hadn't really paid as close attention to what Peter has said here. Um, let's, let's back up just a little bit to say maybe verse 8. Whom having not seen you love. He's talking about Jesus. Let's back up to verse 7. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto the praise and honor uh, and glory 
at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now you see, uh, and though now you see him, not yet believing. You rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Receive the end of your faith, the salvation of souls. Now, if you notice, I leave out the word even and your because it doesn't say that in the Greek. The salvation of souls. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Verse 10 is my favorite. Who prophesied of the grace unto you. Now they add the word that should come unto you. It's not a matter of should. It did. It came to you. Now notice that which the salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. That's what really caught my attention. The prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Searching what? That's interesting. What were they searching for? Or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow? So Peter expressly is telling us the prophets inquired, they inquired it so much. And why were they inquiring so much about Jesus Christ, the coming Messiah? Because the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ. Remember David in the 22nd Psalm, for example, it was Christ in him already testifying of the sufferings that he was going to go through and the glory that should follow. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves. Now watch this. It, it was, in other words, it was revealed to them what he was going to suffer, what he was going to go through, but it wasn't for themselves, but unto us. They did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you, the Holy Ghost, sent down from heaven, which things the angels desired to look into. I mean, think of that. They're, they're just so amazing to think about this. It was revealed to them but everything that was revealed to them, their very messages were to you. And in this case here, it was to them 2,000 years ago because now the, the gospel that was being preached in them by, through the power of the Holy Spirit was the manifestation. By the way, that's the glory that should follow. That was the power of Pentecost. That was the power of... Uh, of, of the Holy Spirit being poured out upon the believers. That was the fulfillment when Jesus took and breathed upon his apostles and said, receive you the Holy Spirit. But I want to look at some of these things, though, that we're, we, what we read here, especially when we read here that the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied the grace that should come unto you, searching or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. Let's look at this then. Deuteronomy chapter uh, 18. For these nations that you are to dispose, uh, dis uh, that are to dispose us, hearken unto soothsayers, the diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not suffered you so to do. He's talking to Israel that he didn't want them doing the things that the nations that they were going into were doing. But watch what he says here. Moses says this, a prophet will the Lord your God raise up unto you. From the midst of you, of your brothers, 
liken unto me, and unto him you shall hear. Now I find this fascinating, especially if you read this in the Hebrew language. See? Navi mikra becha me'achiach kamoni. See? The prophet, a prophet, the word a is not in there, navi, a prophet, we say a prophet. Mi kira becha, all right? And we don't even have the word the Lord. Thy God will raise up unto you. They're just translated. The Lord comes in a little bit later. Lecha Yehovah Elech Eloecha. But the Komoni, when he says that right there, he's going to raise up, God's going to raise up this prophet likened unto me. Or as me. So Moses already knew that there was going to be a prophet coming that was going to be raised up just like he was. Yakim lecha Yehova Elohayach Eliav Teshemon. Teshemon, Teshemon. Eliav. All right, so what is he saying here? Liken unto me, unto him. You're to listen. Now, the reason why I read this in Hebrew, and then I realize many of you wouldn't understand what I'm reading, no way. Not only did Moses feel the Spirit of God within him to make these writings, he actually makes it in the present tense. As far as, even even though he knows it's a future event, he makes it as if it will fulfill to them themselves directly. I, now that just gets me because even if you go over here to the Hebrew Matthew, for example, and this is another one right here, in chapter three, I forget. Excuse me, not chapter 3, but uh, verse 3. We're in chapter 19. Well, let's just start, start verse 1. It came to pass when Jesus finished these words. He passed from Galilee. Came to the outskirts of the land of Judah across the Jordan. <laughs> That's interesting. By the way, those of you that think the Golan Heights belongs to the modern state of Israel. Um, n no, it doesn't. This is, can be proven scripturally, but that's a good example right there. Jesus finished these words. He passed from Galilee and came to the outskirts of the land of Judah across the Jordan. So once you cross the Jordan, you were entering into Syria. There followed him large crowds, and he healed all of them. Then Pharisees came uh, to him to tempt him, and they asked him, saying, is it possible for one to leave his wife for any matter to give her a bill of divorce? He answered them, Have you not read that he who made them of old, male and female, created he them? He said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they, want, they will become one flesh. If so, they are not two but one flesh. And whatever the Creator has joined together, man is unable to separate. They said unto him, If so, why did Moses command to give her a bill of divorce and to send her away from his house? Now, they actually put it back 1,500 years back. Watch what Jesus says. He said unto them, Moses, because of the obstinacy of your heart. By the way, you ain't going to get around that one either. Here it is right there. Ve'yomer lechem Moshe, and Moses said to them, Your heart, it does say your heart, said for you to leave your wives, but from eternity 
it was not so. I, I, you think about what you want on that. I mean, that's just, it's fascinating to me. And especially in light of what First Peter says. Of which salvations of prophets inquired, searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of the time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed, that not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things. So he, it, it appears to be in presence, present tense for whoever it is, but could it be that what he's saying here, because it was a spirit of Christ within him or within them, speaking of the prophets, but it goes even beyond the them, the speaking of the prophets, but into them as the people. So he goes on, according to all that you did desire of the Lord thy God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire any more that I die not. And the Lord said unto me, They have well said which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, liken unto you, and I will put my words in his mouth and shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And again, God himself is making it appear as if the very words that Jesus would speak in the future is going to be spoken to them. Zechariah also, very interesting. I said unto them, If you think good, give me my hire. If not, forbear. So they weighed for my hire 30 pieces of silver. The Lord said unto me, Cast it into the treasury, the goodly price that I was prized of them. And I took the 30 pieces of silver and cast them into the treasury, into the house of the Lord. Zechariah speaks of it as if it's him, but we already know. Peter clearly shows this. It was the Spirit of Christ that was in them. Speaking out through the prophets. Isaiah 53 so beautifully puts it. He was despised, forsaken of men, a man of pains, acquainted with disease. As one from men hide their face, he was despised, he was esteemed. Uh, he, we, we esteemed him not. Notice that. We esteemed him not. I mean, Isaiah is putting it, and Isaiah is not during the time of Moses. He's hundreds of years later. We esteemed him not. Not only does Isaiah feel Christ within him, but he's also feeling, the, the feeling of the people. And he places that upon the people of his own very day. Surely our diseases he did bear. And our pains he carried, whereas he did esteem him. We, we did esteem him. Stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Can you imagine how that must have made people's heads spin when they heard stuff like that? Because he's applying it to his own people of his day, even though it's an event that is going to go forward. But he was wounded because of our transgression. He was crushed because of our iniquities. The chastisement of our welfare was upon him. And with his stripes, we were healed. All we, like sheep, did go astray. We turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath made to light on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed through the, uh, though he humbled himself and opened not his mouth as a lamb that is led to the slaughter and as a sheep that before her shears is dumb, yea, he opened not his mouth. Now oppression and judgment he was taken away and with his generation he did reason for he was cut off out of the land of the living and the transgression of my people to whom the stroke was due. They made his grave with the wicked and with the rich of his tomb, although he had done no violence, neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to crush him by disease. That's another one that gets me. It pleased the Lord to crush him. 
Psalm 22, David says, and, and he truly is the spirit of Christ within him. But you, O Lord, be not far off. O my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, mine only one from the power of the dog. Miyad the Kelev. See, from the hand of the dog. Do you know I think that actually refers to Pilate? What did Jesus say to the little woman? They came to him crying, now son of David, it's not meat for me to give the children's bread to you dogs. She is Gentile. So the power of the dog was the Gentile. Could it be Pilate or could it actually have been the Pharisees? Because remember the ones that turned him over to have him killed were not truly Jewish. Those men in black were truly the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. You know what that is right there? The lion of the tribe of Judah. It was Judah, the tribe of Judah, or the house of Judah, that actually brought the charges against him. That's the lion's mouth. Yea, from the horns of the wild oxen do thou answer me. I will declare your name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise you. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All the seed of Jacob glorify him. Notice that, the seed of Jacob. Why? Because he knew the seed that Ezra spoke about the priest and all had mingled their seed with the reptilians to start with. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the lowliness of the poor, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. Just beautiful passages, if you ask me. I just want to share a couple of these there with you. That's, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. It goes right back into the book of Matthew that I read to you just a moment ago. I used the Hebrew Matthew instead. But I figured it would be a blessing to you. So thank you for listening, and don't forget our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. I am, though, working too, by the way, still. I had to uh, put it on hold a little bit, but I have not stopped working on the uh, EMP Shield documentary thing that we're putting together. Um, hopefully, I will have it done this weekend uh, as I continue on into the weekend, so just be patient with me on that. Uh, I do strongly encourage you to get an EMP Shield, though. Uh, we are definitely, even with the anomalies of weather, it's going to be really, really bad. They're still doing a freedom sale. I did not know that, but I would definitely, definitely, definitely consider that. Uh, they got everything, three-phase protection, European models, bundles, everything you can imagine over here. Uh, so, But just remember, and I don't know what a three-phase model is there, but I'm just going to click on it for you anyway. Uh, those are more expensive than the ones for your vehicle or your home. But when you add that to your cart, you've got to hit that INL50 code. Once you go to the cart, doesn't matter how many times you add one. If you've got 10 items in your cart and you add that INL50 code in there, they'll give you $50 off 10 times. So you apply that and it's going to automatically discount it. Uh, it's already got the discount included there from $449 from their sale that they're having. They take off another $50, uh, and that brings that down to $341.10. So, and then, of course, you're, you're also supporting the work we do here. Uh, and I don't support products unless I really believe in it. So I will just say that just as a reminder. If I don't believe in it, that's the only thing I do support. Um, you know, but anyway... You won't, you won't see me being a salesman. I'm not interested in being a salesman, but I believe in that because I do believe with the anomalies that we're having, everything that's going on in the world, I think it's a great idea. And don't forget to check out the video that I did. Uh, I just posted it. It was on Patreon. Uh, I, I, I kind of, because I think these are important videos, I shared it with Patreon first. It's not like it's anything critical going to happen to you next week or anything like that. But the thing is, I think the information needs to get out. So the real meaning of these celestial bodies, uh, share that with you on there. 
Uh, the one that I did originally was taken down. I'll just, just for a reminder, you need to go to iConnect uh, fx.com forward slash Israeli News Live because that video, some of Yana's is over there too, by the way. Not all of the last one she just did is not there, so just keep that in mind. But uh, um, if you go over here, I had one video that I had done that is, let me just pull that up for you real quick. This one was taken down from the platform we're on right now. Uh, but it is, I posted it here, so that way you would have it. And that is this one right here. Do the heads of FEMA. Um, let me just go ahead and click on this thing here for you. Uh, do the heads of FEMA. The, we had a lot of views on this. Uh, no Planet X is coming. And uh, I forget what it was that got them angry at me there, but I got a strike for this. And uh, so we have to be very careful what we load, even in something as simple as this. So uh, we were at around 100,000 views when they took it down. So anyway, I just want to make sure that was up there, that you would be, still be able to see it. So if you've been looking for it, that's where it is. Anyway, Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And again, Yana's channel on Odyssey here, Israeli News Live. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. God bless you and thank you for listening.